I am LaMarcia Lewis. Let's talk. Thursday, February the 4th, 2021. Let's get into some commentary. Let's get into a conversation. Let's talk. I want to talk about a lot, I guess. It's a lot. I got a lot of notes here. I'm going to see if I can get through all of it. I probably want because once I get started, I, I just kind of, it, it just a lot that, that plays out. Republican mess. That's what I, 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 I got as my topic here. Uh, last night or yesterday, Liz Cheney survives keeping her seat. She is the one of the third person, the third highest person in the House of Representatives for the Republicans. It was 145 votes to save her seat. 60 people voted against her. One person voted present. Not 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 even an actual vote. But again, she did keep her seat. Today, Marjorie Taylor Greene, as we have learned, and I did a commentary on, on that subject matter itself, she uh, Lost, and I'm great, and I'm glad that she, that the House of Representatives voted 230 to remove her from the committees that she was on. One being of education, where she would be making decisions for our children, uh, for the children of the state of Georgia, because that's where she represents uh, the state of Georgia. But yet, still, she has been removed because of those vile white supremacists. Uh, harassment and just vile videos, tweets, uh, Facebook posted, and all of that. And she was voted to be stripped of those seats. And 199 voted to keep her on. But again, 230 was the final count with the yays. Uh, if Kevin McCarthy, who is the House of Representatives uh, minority leader, he made the decision not to hold Marjorie Taylor Greene accountable for those things that she had done that was just not becoming of any more special elected official. And many of those, as they said, was before. But she didn't stop being the vile person that she is the woman that's full of hate against basically people of color uh, immigrants because she supported doing the wall she supported donald j trump she supported QAnon. again she mocked a you know student who was a survivor of a school shooting harassed him have said that 911 was a host that school shootings are planned, just all of this craziness and, and nonsense and wearing masks on the floor, Trump won, stop the steal. She was inciting all of this conspiracy that Trump had put out. So it continued even once she was elected. And again, Kevin McCartney, McCartney, McCartney chose he made the decision not to hold her accountable that is why the house did what they had to do and i'm glad to see people that are seeing things that are wrong like the late congressman uh, jones and when you see something say something good trouble you have an obligation to call out anything that is not right just like with this insurrection that's why the House of Representatives voted to impeach Trump the second time. Then you got these Republicans out here saying, well, he shouldn't be convicted because now he's no longer in prison. Let's be mindful and note Mitch McConnell at that point in time was the majority leader because when Trump was in office, we know the Republicans controlled everything. But Mitch McConnell made the choice not to call the Senate back to deal with the matter. If that had been anyone else, if that had been Barack Obama, if that had been Bill Clinton, any other person, especially if that had been a Democrat president, 
those Republicans would have had that person out the same day the insurrection took place. I do not understand to this day how our Congress, men and women, now especially the Senate, because the House did impeach for the second time, but how the Senate did not hold Donald J. Trump accountable before leaving office. The man incited an insurrection. People died. Five people died that day. We have learned that two police officers have since taken their lives. Uh, I, uh, it's been put into record. The rep some reports that uh, uh, they have gotten from police officers, a man has been stated to have lost his eye, a person with broken ribs, and just several, several other, other injuries. And then all the congressmen and women this, again, I don't understand how the man, Donald J. Trump, actually just got to walk away January 20th at, because his term had ended. Instead of being instantly, immediately removed January the 6th or at the very latest January the 7th. The man incited an insurrection. He stood on TV through a video he pre-recorded and told them, I understand your pain. We love you. You are very special, but go home. Not once did he denounce it. He didn't denounce it until later on after the fact, and then it was too late. Same thing as Marjorie Taylor Greene got up there, tried to do the playing the victim and the what is it. Those words just like Trump when he told those people to go go and fight like hell he tried everything he could to overturn the will of the American people that appalls me the simple fact that he refused to accept the election results from we the American people 71 million people may have voted for him but 80 something million voted for Joe Biden and the fact, again, that Trump, he had even put the conspiracy out before the actual election, before the actual result. If he didn't win, the election is rigged. And then after he didn't win, he continued. It was a rigged election. It was stolen. It wasn't stolen. He simply didn't win. There's a difference. And then all those hundred something uh, House of Representatives that when that man from uh, the um, Attorney General from Texas took that lie, that bogus claim, talking about when they were trying to overturn uh, the will of the people, knowing that Trump didn't win, they signed that. They shouldn't have even been seated. It had been stated that Nancy Pelosi shouldn't have even seated, but she allowed them to seat. What happened to doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do? Help me, somebody. I believe in doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do. Trump lied so many times. I, I, I They had put it out there how many times that Trump had lied. And it's freaking ridiculous. Over thousands of lies. It's just ridiculous. This is what it says. In four years, Trump made 30,573 false or misleading claims. That's from the Washington Post. 30,573 in four years. And he asked officials from Georgia to give him 11,780 votes trying to overturn the elections of the American people. How can anybody be okay with that? How do you support that? That's corruptness. That's evilness. And no one should be okay with that. Then he went on to actually and carried out the incitement of our capital. Just six days into the new year. Tried to get Vice, uh, Mike Pence to overturn. 
He pressured people. It was said um, last night, supposedly, Marjorie Taylor Greene did an uh, apology to, because they had a closed meeting, because those that voted for Liz Cheney, it was said to have been done in private, and uh, supposedly, uh, that's when Marjorie Taylor Greene got up and did her little supposedly apology, and it was said that she got a standing ovation. So those that stood and, and gave her a standing ovation, they too are okay with QAnon. They too are okay with white supremacy, with hate. As we know, last week, Kevin McCarthy went to visit Trump at Mar-a-Lago at his resort. They are all just in this Trump cult. You got to call it for what it is. This QAnon BS. And they love to play the what is a game. Try to distract, flip the script, instead of Instead of just holding people accountable when they have done something wrong. But really, the entire Republican Party is so corrupt. Because as I have said, once more information comes out about this insurrection, we're going to see many of the congressmen and women also involved. I truly believe that. Cruz, Holly, Lauren Bar Barber. From Colorado, Marjorie Taylor Greene. There's no telling how many of and what we're really going to learn once this second Senate trial, which is set for Tuesday, February the 9th. You got Lizzie Graham out there talking about, no, it's, how in the world can you truly say you doing a fair trial and you don't want to call a witness? See, that's what they did in that first one. Because, see, again, the Republican had control. That right there proves guilt. That you don't even want to call witness. Uh, the house managers uh, sent out a letter to Trump, and he had to uh, apply. By, I think it was about five o'clock today, in which he did. The house managers asked him to speak, to testify at his trial. He refused. Is that a surprise? No. Because he he know he's gonna basically. Convince his own self. He, he he actually testifies. But again, you got Lindsey Graham out here talking about he there should be no witness. What? And the, and a bigger question, what does Trump really have over you, Lindsey Graham? Because you, you've sold your soul. And nothing you said has any credibility. You were the one that called him a coup before. And then Trump, Trump is going to destroy us and we deserve it. Yeah, Trump has destroyed the Republican Party and yes, y'all deserve it. January 6th, she was on the floor. I've tried to be nice. I've tried to be good. Count me out. Enough is enough. Next week, you, you was uh, on the plane, Air Force One, going to Texas with Trump. And now you're out here talking about no witnesses. Again, what does Trump have that's that powerful that you have completely sold your soul. And I, why are all these people okay with Trump getting away, not being held accountable? And I don't care that he's out of office again. Mitch McConnell made that choice not to call the Senate back and hold him accountable. Was that the plot? Was that the plan? You all were, okay, we're, we're not going to do anything. We're just going to let Trump exit like he would like a normal when that presidency ends and we won't have to worry about convicting him was that the plot because the ain't no way he should have been able to walk out of there like that after inciting an insurrection and the evidence is there and it speaks for itself the house manager walked over the articles of impeachment at the scene of the crime. And, and you Republicans refusing to hold him accountable. Even mad, you got Matt Gates, the little prep boy, 
little frat boy from Florida out there try, was trying to destroy Liz Cheney only because she voted in that she did the right thing along with 10 others. It was 11 people that voted um, to, against Marjorie Taylor Greene today and it was 10, as they said, one more voted against Marjorie but 10 Republicans, House of Representatives voted in favor of the impeachment and, it's been, and you got Matt's out here mad because Liz Cheney did the right thing voted her conscience you got again they played the what is Kevin McCart trying to bring up Omar uh, represent Omar in all of this Maxine Water. we don't do the what is a game that doesn't work you don't get to distract you don't get to flip the script Last night I watched um, CNN and Don Lennon said something that I think he said it's so eloquent and he and told the truth. They need to clean their own house. They, the Republicans, they need to clean their own house and stop trying to sweep things under the rug. Stop trying to play the blame game. Stop trying to play the what ism game. Pass the buck. Totally just not taking accountability, refusing to take responsibility, clean your own house, Republicans. They try to ignore, they try to deny, they they try to flip the script, they try to pass, they try to act as if these things didn't happen. And again, to me, that's personal. That's an insult to me, my intelligence. When you want me to just act like I didn't hear or see any of those Marjorie Taylor Greene videos and tweets. Or I didn't see this insurrection that we the American people got to see un unfold in disbelief in real time. And you all actually were there in real time, witnessing in real time. That's appalling and it's an insult. That I'm we're supposed to just get over it. We're just supposed to move on and there's no accountability to the man that incited it, that's the cause all, all because he refused to accept the election results of we the American people because he was still trying to steal the election that's what Trump tried to do he tried to steal the election and incited an insurrection because he couldn't do it but you all, Nikki Haley, just get over it. Move on. Again, like the, uh, the gentleman, uh, Dick, I believe his name, one of the uh, Democrats, when he put on the record those reports about the police officers and things. This, how, how are we supposed to just get over that? How, how are you just supposed to get over an insurrection? How are you just supposed to get over our capital being breached? Something hadn't happened since 1814, and then it was by the incitement of the sitting 45th president. How are you supposed to get over it? How are you supposed to get over five people lost their lives? A police officer who they just did a memorial of honored in the rotunda of the nation capital. Brian Sidney, his remains, the American flag. But you just, we're supposed to get over it. It didn't happen. Or are we not supposed to hold Donald J. Trump accountable that he killed five people? Two people have since taken their life. Two police officers. Then I read where a, a, a gentleman that was a banker took his own life because he couldn't handle what had happened. The role that he played. People suffering through PSTD. But we're supposed to get over and give Trump a pass. No. And then the fact that this man now walked away with a pension plan that we, the American people, pay for. He gets to travel around this country, continue his conspiracy and his lies, gets to form a staff. Again, we, the American people, pay for. But he incited a freaking insurrection in 2021. 
the 45th president of the United States? Are you freaking kidding me? He gets a pass? But see, the reason many of you Republicans want him to get a pass because many of you are just as guilty. And once he's convicted, and again, more information, your turn is next for accountability. Then you're thinking of your careers and all of this, but no humanity, no dignity, no, no integrity. Do you all sleep at night? Do you truly sleep at night knowing that you're letting this man walk free from an insurrection in our nation? You want to always talk about patriotism in our country? You okay with an insurrection with no accountability whatsoever? This is not America. This is not America. Prove it different. Hold him accountable. See, it's a lot of racism in America. This country wasn't built, and I said it in the previous commentary, it wasn't built upon blacks or people of color, immigrants being successful, succeeding, especially being, like I said, President of the United States, Vice President of the United States. No, it was just supposed to be for you, the white men in your family, the white man's burden. Blacks aren't supposed to have a say. We're not supposed to have a seat at the table. We're not supposed to be in those rooms where decisions are being made. Like now, the First Lady of being vice president. I've seen pictures where she was sitting with President Biden and other men was in the room. She's the only woman. Why? Because she's now the vice president of the United States. Y'all don't want that. That's why you kids against Biden. So, And then we're trying to raise minimum wage to $15 an hour and you got Republicans out here against it. So you want the average Americans to continue to be poor, to continue to be average, continue to struggle struggle from week to week. Now we're in this pandemic, which next month would be a year. You don't even want to give stimulus package to us. You voted against uh, the $1,400. You definitely don't want us to actually have $2,000. And you voted against raising the men what? No one can survive off of $7.25. That's what our minimum wage is. $7.25. $7.25. Minimum wage hasn't been raised since 2007. $7.25. And... Then you got these jobs out here, $9 an hour, $9.50, dollars Can't nobody make it off of that? Not adequately. Not without having to have two, three, four jobs. Are, are struggling. None of you all are struggling. You're, you don't know what a $7.25 an hour is, a $9 or $10 an hour job. Or even a $15 an hour. But you don't want us, the American people, who put you there to make the rules and laws and regulation that's supposed to be executed and carried out. And you don't even want us to make $15 an hour. $15 an hour. 15 times 40 hours, that's only $600 a week. $600 a freaking week. And you don't want we, the average poor, struggling Americans to get at least $15 an hour. What the hell? Truly, not one Republican voted to give that $1,400 that President Biden is, is trying to give to the American people. See, 
Republican mess. And you all, and then after the insurrection, you want to talk about unity, unity, unity. None of you are trying to have unity. One, you're not trying to hold the man responsible for the insurrection accountable. You're not trying to unify there. You didn't, you didn't, majority of you didn't try to unify Marjorie Taylor Greene. Not a one of you voted to give the American people $1,400. $1,400. And what do you all make? Then you don't want to increase from $7.25 to $15 an hour. Again, $600 a week at a 40 hour week. Wow. But you are the people that sit there in our United States Congress and make the rules, the laws, and all of this. That's very sad. It's disappointing. And it's very hurtful. Republicans just seem to never choose to do the right thing. Again, you supporting Donald J. Trump with this insurrection. You supported Marjorie Taylor Greene with all her conspiracy and, uh, and vileness. I heard Whoopi say something today on the view that was very, I'm like, you go Whoopi, cause you know it has been said that Marjorie saying that um, the school shootings were planned and all of this. Whoopi said, well, somebody needs to walk her ass over to where those people lost their lives, like the Pentagon, where those we tried to say 911 was a hoax and that the school shooting not. And then, like I said, she want to get in her little speech and talk about she's a mother. What about those mothers that lost their children? What about the mother to David Hall? What about all those families that lost their loved ones 911? It's really very, it's really very hurtful and sad that you got these Republicans don't want to give a $15 an hour minimum wage. And none of them are living their lives on $7.25. They're not living their lives on $15 an hour. That would be $600 a week. This is where we are in America, 2021. It's been said that they, they uh, it was uh, some moderate conservatives, as it was stated, met with President Biden, trying to make some, basically renegotiate how to do the stimulus package. Again, they don't want to get 14 hundred They was stated that give a thousand. No. $15 minimum wage. Why? Why do you all not want us, we the American people, to be able to survive and not struggle? But then you expect for us to vote for you to send you back to Washington for you to tell us no, but you not to help us. See, that's where we, the American people, we got to start taking a stand for all this stuff that is not right 2021 and we the minimum wage seven dollars and 25 cents can't even get it to fifteen dollars six hundred dollars a week we in a freaking pandemic can't even get any stimulus and the people that make these decisions are the people that we voted for although the two that this represent my state mississippi sydney high smith that will sit from front of the public hanging and Roger Wicker, I didn't vote for him. I'm not a Republican, but they're the uh, two Senate members for Mississippi. Then you got Mike, uh, what is it? Mike Guest, Trent Kelly, and another gentleman up there, a House of Representatives, all Republicans. And here Mississippi is the last and freaking everything. And we got uh, Republicans representing us. We, more American people is gonna have to start 
taking a stand and, and it really calls causing for accountability and for what is right. They love to use us as the bait, the pun, especially when it's the election, the American people, the American people, and you don't give a rat ass about the American people. What government shut down uh congressmen and women still get their paychecks. They haven't struggled during this pandemic. They then you got the Republicans want to continue to give the tax breaks to the rich, the billionaires, the millionaires, but then they don't want to give fifteen dollars an hour to you and me, the American people. And we work more than that. Something is wrong. So I implore more Americans to take a stand. And that includes me as well. Stand up to these people in Congress, men and women, Republicans, that's not willing for us to get $15 an hour, and this is 2021, not wanting to give a stimulus package. Don J. Trump's hearing starts next Tuesday, February the 9th. He needs to be convicted. And we need to make sure he never is able to serve in any type of capacity. No more president, because it's been said that he's trying to suspend it to run 2024. N nothing. No type of government official role. And we need to revoke his pension. Um, him, his travel allotment and all of that. Why should we pay for someone who incited an insurrection against we the American people? And y'all need to get it together. You need to pass a stimulus package. It needs to be the fourteen hundred dollars or two thousand. It was said two thousand, which I and they said fourteen hundred with the six hundred they had been given. But then, as someone said, you need to do 2000 until this, this pandemic is over. And we don't know when that would be. And you need to raise the minimum wage. You need to care about us, we the American people. Because we are the ones that sent you all there. And you all are making and living better than lifestyles than we. How is that right? If you truly want to unity and unify you need to start doing the right things because it's the right thing to do simple as that do right because it's the right thing to do this is today's commentary i am lamarcia lewis let's talk